Hi guys, Darkovica here, and this is like the fourth time I've tried recording this for various technical difficulties. This is a video I have been avoiding making, particularly because sharing things that I'm working on that are creative that are terrible is a hit to my pride. But let's do it anyways. So, as I've mentioned in previous videos and in previous streams, uh, I picked up resin as a hobby. And resin as in like jewelry, as in art, and uh, eventually something that I would love to sell. And some of my pieces are almost there. Most of them are not. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I have learned from resin is that it requires an amount of patience that I simply just do not possess. I am even using UV resin because waiting 24 hours for epoxy resin is just simply not my shtick. Uh, however, my the, the couple pieces that I have, which unfortunately I actually don't have the pieces that I made with epoxy um, on me, those turned out better. <laughs> uh, the patience was forced, so I'm considering maybe going back to epoxy, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I've been using UV resin. And it is a, a craft that I'm actually really enjoying, even though currently with my level of patience, I kind of suck at it. It is something that has actually, I think, helped me out a lot. And before anybody asks, yes, I'm using protection while I do this. Um, it is partially why I have not filmed myself doing anything because it would have to be the type of video where there's no talking because there's a gigantic respirator on my face and you absolutely cannot understand anything that comes out of my mouth. It's impossible. Um, and it's just, it's, I'm also like, I don't really have a great workspace for it. I'm working out on my balcony, so I don't have a ton of privacy either. So videos are kind of weird to do because, you know, it's just a balcony area. My voice is going to carry really well, um, out into a pop populated area. So don't really want to do that. But I figured I would at least show some of my pieces and my learning process. I unfortunately do not remember exactly which pieces came worse. I can show you, uh, uh worse, which pieces came first. I was going to say, I can show you my worst pieces. <laughs> um, now I do know for sure, like these are, so these three that I'm going to show are my earlier pieces. They're not good. Um, they were absolutely learning experiences. So like this one, for example, uh, you could see I tried to do like a colored backing to it and a clear top. And I tried to put um, some glitter in it and some a couple like pearl looking items in there. I have autofocus on and it just refuses. <laughs> I don't know how else to make it focus, but you know, there it is. And actually, I know that this piece came after another. You could actually see the bubble issues that I had. Oh, um, sort of. Yeah, there you go. Sort of. It's up near the top. There's bubbles there. I don't know. This isn't going to turn out quite the way that I wanted to. My camera's not that great. Um, I learned from this piece uh, right here that glitter <laughs> sinks. <laughs> Um, so obviously I put in the glitter and it looked great while it was sitting in the mold. Then I stuck it under like a UV lamp and, uh, obviously it sank. So this was a piece that I also just has like a butt ton of bubbles. I don't know if you can see those bubbles on top. It's not really something that appears to be showing in good detail, but there, that entire top section is just bubble city. This, oh no, this is a terrible piece. This turned out so bad. This was also an attempt at layering, and I figured out that with these crystals, layering doesn't work. I also attempted to put a couple of other pieces in here that I created using uh, UV resin. You can kind of see them. Not really, because I realized that perhaps in that, that kind of glitter purple color, I should not have put clear see-through colored items in there they just sort of blended in with the glitter and therefore made a horrible piece also you could see a giganto bubble in there good times good good waste this was a piece that turned out pretty also a, an, a, a desperate issue with bubbles I have since learned how to get rid of those really big bubbles so that is a huge step for me is getting rid of those massive bubbles this was also uh, a semi-successful attempt, you can't really, there are not enough details for me to show all of the flaws with these pieces, but with these crystals, one of the problems, and you can see it 
in this one is that the surface oh no you can't see it in that one the surface of the crystals divots and that's fine uh, you actually want the divot more than you want overflow because if you have a divot you can pour more resin into the divot and harden that and you get a flat surface it is great that's fine that's fixable um this one was a very close attempt at fixing that unfortunately the divot on one side uh was a lot deeper than i thought it was and it spilled over the edge so you know learning uh there's a little boat and oars inside this one i don't know if you can really see it i liked that mold a lot it was a mold set that i got that turned out to be very very cute although perhaps darker colors for that so that was a learning experience just lots of learning um, now this is a very early piece, which is very funny because it is still perhaps my favorite piece. It suffers from bubbles and it suffers from, I pulled it out too early, which is very unfortunate because it's a defect that you can see straight through the item, but it is probably my favorite piece and it is this one. And it is just a see-through, very simple piece. It's a see-through crystal with um, obviously blue glitter in the bottom to look like water and a dolphin jumping out of the water. And I really think there's something to be said for simplicity because this is still my favorite piece. And uh, it's not perfect. I don't know if you can really see the defect on the back of it, especially because my camera is just refusing to focus on anything but my hand. Oh, 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 no, yes, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. There is a, whoop, there is a defect along the back of it, like, right here, because I pulled it out too early, it was not fully dry. That was another thing that I learned that I will now showcase. This is another early piece of mine that is actually a favorite, another favorite, even though it's horribly defective. Um, this piece, it's a unicorn shape, it is, uh, also a perfect keychain, um, this piece is very pretty. I love what I did. I actually did a very good design. It's very thin, very pretty, very cute. Uh, I don't know if you will be able to see just how mutilated the back of it is, though. Like, it is, it was not dry when I pulled it out. There were air bubbles. There's, like, the glitter is actually, you can touch the glitter in the back of it because it was just so wet and such a mess back there that, um, it just, it, there's like literally air holes like it's not I don't think this is a detail that you guys are going to be able to see oh oh it actually focused on it no no hold the focus you got it you got it yeah there we go so as you can see the back of it is just horribly mangled and I realized uh far later than it should have taken me that it was because my mold for this is not a clear mold and you might be thinking to yourself Darkovica what does that matter well UV resin requires UV rays to harden, which requires a clear mold. Now, they don't really look clear, and I don't have any on me, which is hilarious, but the molds are like this, like, mostly clear, like, white. It's not really white. It's not colored. It's just like a plastic silicone mold, and the reason you use those for UV resin is so that the UV rays can penetrate the mold, which makes a whole lot of sense in hindsight. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this, the mold for this unicorn is pink, and it's not see-through, and there's no way the UV rays can penetrate it, so I'm figuring, this one's gonna have to probably be epoxy resin, but I love this mold, like, and I loved this design that I did, which is obviously why I still have it, I'm not gonna throw any of these away, because I love them. This is another piece that, okay, this was originally meant for, oh no, I'm gonna sneeze, this is a very cool piece, and it was meant for a whole other project. One of the things that I really desperately want to make with UV resin, or just resin in general, is notebooks. Uh, people make notebook covers, and you can put paper in them, you can get refills, and they're very, very cool. And so I was originally planning to embed this into one of the notebooks. It was obviously going to pop out quite a bit, because this is definitely bigger than the mold. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if I will be able to showcase this. There are a whole lot of air bubbles on the back of it. Um, I can't really, it needs to reflect just right, but the entire back of it is bubbles that rose to the surface while it was curing. And I mean, there are also bubbles within the mold. 
uh, that were trapped that I don't, I just, unless the camera focuses very well, you can kind of see them. Um, so I mean, again, I kept the piece and I'm actually, I actually drill into the top parts to put these, these bits in, but, uh, I kept it, turned it into a keychain, attached it to my backpack. So, you know, that was cool. Um, this is fun and turned out to be a lot more successful than I was expecting. This, not this particular piece. I have two other pieces, which are unfortunately not on me. Oh, come on. Um, this is bookmark, obviously. I even have tassels. And I really liked this one. Obviously, I designed it to look like sand. I have a much better sand mixture now uh, after I obviously figure this one out. And I have a better method for blending similar colors like this blue to this blue. This blue needed a lot more pigment and this blue turned out fine obviously there are so many bubbles in this that even with my terrible camera you can see them <laughs> um now i'm going to show you the fun failures that were such such ridiculous failures that again the flaws are so bad you will be able to see them with my terrible camera this is one of them it is a bubble catastrophe and as you can see there are two pink blurs in there no that's not the camera you literally cannot see any details on them um and those were really cute pink hearts that I made but something about this color pink does not actually show much detail in clear resin something that I have found out it's a very pretty pink though and actually I do have the pieces that I made I don't know if oh yeah there we go oh look at that that's almost focused. It's uh, little hearts with mermaid scales on them. They're very, very cute. Alas, here's another piece. They just, look at that. I love that mold. It's so pretty. They just do not, like, uh, show up. I mean, obviously, that's like, but even in the back, like, something about that pink just blurs like crazy and clear, clear resin. So, failure. Um, now these pieces actually turned out very well, and as far as I could tell, there are no bubbles in them. However, they are also very glittery, so the bubbles could just be masked. Um, but these are earrings, obviously, and I actually really like these. These ones turned out very, very well. Um, so I really like the, these two. These pieces also, surprisingly, turned out very well. Uh, I have two of these as well. They are seashells. This mold, just for whatever reason, is my friend. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they work very well for me. Like, I also made this piece. Oops. Look at him. He's so cute. He was also going to go on the resin notebook. But, um, see, like, the, some of these actually turn out very, very well. And it's very exciting. Um, but <laughs> most of them do not. Here's another one very cute little whale. Oh, my fingers are like bigger than it, but you know, very cute. And like, okay, here's, here's another epic failure. <laughs> this one, I wanted to try something very specific. There was an epic failure that I had with the unicorn mold. That was pretty much what made me realize I think the UV resin doesn't work with this mold and I don't have that piece anymore because it was absolutely like I could not salvage it. Uh, it was just not going to dry. And what it was, I had I was attempting, so I had alcohol ink and I was going to try to mix the resin in the mold, which you can do. However, I forget exactly what I did. I think, oh, I was trying to do layers and I just didn't put enough resin to make an actual layer. And, but what turned out was very, oh, no, 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 I know what it was. The resin was just not working out. It was not sticking. It was not, I don't remember exactly what made me go, oh my God, this was a terrible idea. And I tried to see if I could just dry the resin that I already had in it to just take it out and then start over and it wouldn't dry. So that was fun to deal with. Uh, but I had that pink alcohol ink and I put it in and... Uh, it just, whatever I did, it made a really pretty design and I like had it stuck in my head. I was like, I really want to recreate that weird, like, it's like splashed ink 
in the resin. This was an attempt at that. This was a failed attempt at that. There is ink that was not fully mixed in here. So like it basically looks like strands of ink. However, the resin turned out cloudy. The, the ink just did not mix. Obviously, there are ginormous bubbles in this that kind of look cool. Like, whatever the heck is going on with that bubble up there? This is a total failure. I absolutely can't do anything with this. I think there was also some dust in the mold, and it just... Total failure. Um, these are very cute. This one is just a little anchor. Um, they're, it's a very thin mold, and unfortunately, I have not quite perfected pouring anything into that mold. It's so thin. I it, it is ridiculous. Um, this piece was a near success. Again, it's the seashell. Um, so again, like something about these pieces, it's just, oh, there we go. I don't know. These, this mold just works really well for me. Like there's not even that many bubbles on, on it that you can see, which is very cool. And, um, and then I'm, I'm winding down, I swear. Oh yeah, I forgot. I did this with this one. I put like the little mermaid heart attached to this seashell. So I thought that was very cute. Um, now coming to my more recent pieces. Um, so I made this piece and I thought it was going to be a total wash and it turned out not to be. It is actually, oh gosh, no, the lighting is not right. It is an island piece. Um, so the the top this top part is the island and the obviously the blue is the water and this is what it looks like from the side in the right lighting it's very cool you can it looks like this bit okay you can kind of see it from this distance it looks like deep water and you can actually still see the island through it now obviously there were some bubbles that got trapped in here so it's not a complete success i tried to make a twin for it so that i can make earrings Alas, I made the blue way too dark and you can't see the, whoop, you can't see the sand below it like at all. You can see the back, but like you can't see the sand through it. So, total failure. GG, 10 out of 10. Total waste. This is the worst part about resin is how much you waste trying to learn what to do. And this is a really cute little island piece that I did with some excess green that I had. You can't see the island details because the camera won't freaking autofocus on it autofocus nope okay you're just not gonna get that it's it's got island it, it it looks like like a shelf like an island shelf underwater it's not showing up all right now for my most disappointing failure I tried to make a Sims plum bob and I almost succeeded this is probably the closest to a real success that I have ever had sort of um, I got a heat gun, which by the way, those things are scary. They heat stuff up so fast. You have to use them very carefully. Everything about resin is very, 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 very careful. Don't just hop into it and be like, ah, I could do it if you could do it. No, <laughs> research, research your tools, know what you're doing. Um, now with this, with this guy, again, it was like, so I, I had to be very patient with resin and I realized that and I'm still not doing a great job of it and I'll show you in just a second because I made the, this piece today like this is today and apart from a little pocket right here I don't know oh yeah you can kind of see it there are a couple bubbles there there are no bubbles anywhere else on this which I honest to god that is well if you hold it up to the light you can kind of see some bubbles but for once like it looked the mixture itself had very few bubbles and I have a theory I mean I have an idea as to why there are bubbles first of all I'm not patient I try to use the resin right after mixing it I need to let it sit for like five minutes bubbles rise to the surface of the resin I use the heat gun let it sit maybe use the heat gun on any bubbles that come after that and then pour it and then because bubbles will likely appear again let it sit <laughs> for another five minutes to maybe more heat gun the bubbles that appear at the surface and that's how excuse me that's how you are supposed to do it that's intelligence and patience that I lack um, I'm working on it this piece is probably the closest I got to a non-bubble piece alas 
Uh, what de- what actually ruined this and made this piece totally, completely a failure is that there was dust in the molds that I did not see um, simply because it was very fine. The entire outside of it is just this horrible texture. It's super matte. It's not shiny. It's just, ah, it was such a disappointment. Um, I have a cat on me, if you couldn't tell. Um, he's very bored of what it is that I am working on. And uh, this piece is a a pure, in pure in the purest of essence, uh, an example of my impatience. You can't really see on the camera. It's not. It's the color is like, uh, the blur is blocking the bubbles. There are a lot of bubbles in there. I really didn't wait at all with this with this color. I should have, but I didn't. Um, this is a very nice green, and I really like this green for the plum bob actually like better than this one, although this one's very nice too. What I really like about this, and I can't show this because I just made it and it hasn't had enough uh, exposure to UV light, it glows in the dark. If you have this out in the sun for a very long time and then you put it in the dark, it will glow. And I am very excited about that. Um, I actually have a plan. If I can get rid of these blasted bubbles... I have a plan for a lot of pieces that I do actually want to sell. Cat, Sam, my God, he's he's very tired of what it is that I've been doing and not paying attention to him. But yeah, I obviously, I have a lot of pieces. I think the pieces that I am, mo oh, I didn't show my absolute favorite piece, which is actually very difficult, uh, except, well, the dolphin is my favorite piece. But this one is actually, I think, the closest to a, a sheer success, which I should have taken it off before filming. Ooh, oh dear. Wow. Much professional. Such wow. I, uh, I also have a very lovely chain for it. If I can recreate this piece, potentially with that other color, with the color scheme of that little piece that I have, this one, with the sand and the blue, um, this is something that I could sell. And I got very good with the bubbles on this one. I don't know what I did. Oh, I know what I did. I warmed the resin and let it sit for like five ten minutes while I watched a YouTube video so you know obviously this piece turned out better although uh, I didn't have like a, a heat gun I know a lot of people use straws to try to get the bubbles out I don't like that specifically because a it takes forever like it literally you have to do it for like 10 minutes first of all I have like asthma so that's not gonna happen I'm not gonna stand there I'm blow hot air at something but also because of the nature of resin if you are blowing at it for like 10 hours you are blowing the fumes into your face it's and then you don't have your mask on because you're blowing through straw so that's even though I'm in a well ventilated area it's just don't use straws I don't think that that's a very good idea I know they're cheap they're inexpensive um, a heat gun you can get a heat gun for like 10 bucks it's not like you're buying a torch which Frankly, I, I'm not going to do. I know some people say that torches are preferable to heat guns, but like, come on, okay. The heat gun is freaking me out. You think I'm going to use a torch? Um, but yeah, I put like copper um, shavings in here. or Not shavings, but like copper foil. And again, this is that pink that I was telling you about. It It is better in person. You can see the definition of the island in the light. Um, but yeah, this pink just, it, it disappears into the mold and this isn't very cloudy either. This clear resin, um, it actually turned out very clear. So I know it's not that the resin is cloudy. It's just simply that that for whatever reason, that pink loses detail in, um, like a clear resin. So I, I have to do something a little bit different with it. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe make it lighter, which I can do, I think. And, uh, yeah, so, that's my hobby. I think literally this piece, potentially the earring, or potentially this one, these ones are the closest to something being sellable. I have two bookmarks that I made that my, my beloved sister-in-law actually purchased from me because she's sweet and supportive and I, I adore her. Um, and they turned out very well. I just don't have them on me. They have no bubbles in them either and they, they turned out super pretty. Um, so obviously I sold those ones but yeah this is something that I I really am enjoying and it really has helped me even though I'm not very good at it um it's just something that I don't know since doing it my anxiety has all but like vanished so I think I just needed to do something that gave me a sense of purpose that gave me a sense of like 
goals that wasn't quite so stressful on myself and I really enjoy it and I'm being very careful um you know for anybody who is watching this and thinking about maybe going into resin please for the love of god a do not do it in a closed space uh make sure you have ventilation because that stuff is chemicals and it will absolutely hang in the air and it will give you respiratory problems and it will it needs to be able to dissipate it, even if you have open windows it just needs to be an area that you know it will mix with clear air and just dissipate because there are fumes that come off of resin um make sure that you cure your pieces entirely they should not smell like resin when you uh when they finally cool down and are cured um they should not be tacky so you know that sort of thing and at first I was going to use just like surgical face masks and someone you know someone in the comments was like yo that's not good enough and I I was like oh I think it should be fine because I'm going to be working on a balcony and then I looked into it and I was like uh I better not I already have breathing problems so I went and bought a respirator and they're not very expensive it's not like I paid like 60 bucks for a respirator it was just a respirator goggles combo and it was like 20 bucks max um, so, I mean, you can buy them. It, it's not like, I mean, the most expensive thing I think out of this whole hobby is the resin itself, um, which is unfortunate. So it is a slow craft as well as a, uh, very frustrating craft. Those bubbles are driving me insane. I literally just need to be more patient. That's what it comes down to. I need to learn patience and maybe this will actually teach me patience and bring some Zen into my life. Uh, but yeah, some of these pieces I've got very close with. I I am officially behind the design of this and the plan of this. I just want to transfer it to this shape because this is the perfect plumb bob shape. Um, and then I'm going to keep experimenting with this. So here's here's to that. But yeah, I think some of these are actually very close to like a production level. Like this one was not hard to make at all. Um, I just have to make sure not to make the blue too dark so that you can actually see the bloody sand underneath it. <laughs> I was very annoyed with myself for that. I made that tonight, so you know. It's like some of these are wins and some of these are losses. I made this like two days ago, so you know. Yeah, yeah you win some, you lose some. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please, you know, po post in the comments below if, what pieces you liked, if any. Um, I think in my heart, I this one will always be my favorite. Like my true favorite will be this one, and I I'm I'm debating on how to incorporate it into my life so that I can like wear it because it really is my favorite. Uh, I have to relearn wire wrapping. I used to know it. All of a sudden, my wire wrapping sucks. But uh, anyways, yes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your, your patience with me uh, while my channel has been sort of figuring out what the hell it is anymore. Um, or where, while I have been figuring out that what the hell I want out of it anymore. Which has been a struggle in and of itself. But yeah, again, I really appreciate everything that you guys do for me and your unending support. And yeah, be safe with your crafts. I love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.